Hi everybody, today we are in Ableton and we are going to check how to make a um, kick with, uh, with the new VST that's free, uh, call it Vital. So grab it, open it and uh, first of all we want the right shape here. So we click on init and we select basic shape. Now we have the sine wave here and that's what we need for creating a great kick. Uh, we turn it down to zero, the phase uh, randomization here, and the first uh, modulation is the level of uh, this uh, oscillator. So we grab LFO1 and release over level. Now we have the modulation of this one, and it's following this shape. Uh, and uh, that's not the shape that we want, so we are going to change it. Uh, let's create a shape for for our kick, something like that. We change the frequencies mode from tempo to seconds, and we change the LFO mode from trigger to envelope. Turn it the smooth down to zero, and uh, now that's what we have. Is not properly a kick, so we must do something else, right? The next modulation is the pitch. So grab it LFO number two, move it over the transpose of the oscillator number one. Turn it down the transpose to minus 19. Oh, uh, that's not what we want, so we are going to drawing the right shape that uh, right shape is something like this okay and like before change the mode from trigger to envelope and change the frequencies from tempo to seconds the pitch is not uh, right for a kick at the moment and we must go down probably to minus 39 yeah. So right spot for me at the moment. This is the right spot for the pitch modulation of the kick at the moment. Next thing is to reinforce the uh, high frequencies of the kick with a sample. You can do it with noise sample. Let's grab it, click here and select white noise. So now we have something like this. Okay, that's not what we want. Uh, we deactivate the loop function here and we are going to modulate the level of the sample. So LFO number three over the level, trigger from trigger to envelope and uh, from tempo to seconds. Create the shape. The shape is like the one before. Here, let's hear it. Change it, making more fast. Now we have a click on the high frequencies of the kick make it more, yeah, clicky. Change the smooth to zero. Oh yeah, now, now it's very clicky. If there's too much click, you can also uh, open one of the filter and select uh, what, what you want to filter. And that's not the oscillator number two, but the sampler. And let's apply some filter, let's hear it. Now we have a great sounding kick. What I can show you is uh, to turn the voice down to one so you don't have overlapping kick. And uh, a thing that I like to do, but is up to taste, is to fix the, the pitch of the oscillator. So when you press a note different, your kick, your uh, pitch sound doesn't change. 
for doing this you must go to the advanced section here and deactivate the not track of the oscillator number one so now when i press a different note on the keyboard the pitch of the sound is the same so i move it to my prefer tune that is minus uh, 19 semitones And this is our kick ready to be used. Uh, when you have take confidence with this kick, you can change uh, maybe this shape. Also, if the sweet spot for you is different, you can change the shape for the pitch modulation or the shape of the level of the sample. Bonus tip is to use different um, noise for creating the sound. So this is the the noise that come out with the free version of Vital, but you can also put it your favorite thing, like uh, I have attack sound here if i grab it the character of the kick is changing another tip is to apply some distortion for give a bit more character to the kick that's up to taste so you see how to create a, a kick that sounds good. I hope that you liked the video and you learned something new that you can use on your production. And that's all for today. So bye everybody and thanks for supporting the channel.